Okay, one more quick thought on buybacks, and today I want to talk about how buybacks can actually amplify dividends to long-term shareholders. And we're going to go through the same hypothetical example that we used in video number nine. 100 shares, uh, a company with 100 shares, hypothetical situation, trades at a dollar per share. And let's further add that this company pays a 10 cent per share dividend per year. Um, so in other words, the dividend payment in aggregate is $10. So there's enough cash flow for this business to pay the dividend, run the business, grow the business, handle CapEx, and also buy some shares back. Okay, so returning to our original example, this company is buying back two shares per year. So 10 years later, instead of 100 shares, there's now 80 shares. And the dividend payment, let's just say that uh, we keep it the same on a per share basis. Well, 10 cents per share over 100 shares is $10 per year, but 10 cents per share over 80 shares is only $8 per year. So this company can pay the same dividend, but it's actually per share on a per share basis, but in an aggregate basis, it actually costs only $8 instead of 10, so it's 20% less. So in theory, this company could pay the same amount in aggregate dollars uh, per, for, per year, but then that would actually imply a dividend payment not of 10 cents per share, but of 12.5 cents per share. So 25% dividend growth just by reducing the share count and maintaining the actual dollars paid in dividends uh, the same. So here's an example where you can actually grow dividend payments to shareholders by keeping the dollar amount of dividend payments the same, but reducing the share count. So this is, again, this is how buybacks can be a component of returns that you may not see in the short run, but over the long run can be pretty significant. And so here's an example where you get 25% growth in dividends per share, even though the dividend payments in aggregate are the same, but the share counts reduced. So again, it's just a small example, but keep these things in mind. Companies that can maintain long-term consistent buybacks produce returns for shareholders. Once again, I hope that helps, and thanks as always for watching.